Welcome back everyone to episode number five of Let's Play Pike and Shot campaigns, but really just Pike and Shot because this was available in the base game. The English campaign, battle number two, although like I said, episode number five. So hopefully we speed that up. This one is going to be a defense, so I imagine it'll go faster just by the nature of I don't need to do much. <laughs> so let's, without further ado, get this underway. And it's my turn to fire right away. Very good. So who do we want to start targeting? We can target anybody. Which is, nope, never mind. We cannot target anybody. Probably it's a good time for me to get this line of sight thing. Okay, good. So we have, now, we can't shoot when moved. What the hell? I guess it considers us to have moved this turn because of unlimbering or something, perhaps? So we won't be able to use them. Okay, but, and nobody else is actually going to move then. Uh, actually, let's get their cavalry over. Start getting them on the march. Turn off that so I know where my movement range is. Do something like this. And put them off to the sides. Similarly on our right flank. Very good. Okay, so let's end the turn. Now, we didn't... I guess it won't allow us to shoot, though. Yep. Nothing there. I wonder if those pop-ups will happen every time. I might have to turn them off. Okay. They're not going to advance? <laughs> I was under the impression that maybe they would advance. <laughs> well, um, we are at the advantage if this happens. I mean, it's not going to make for a very quick episode, but... Okay, let's see. Half arc, full arc... Oh, Dragoons, I would love to fire at some Dragoons. Those would be... I'm assuming these would be a bigger target for um, our our guns. Let's take a look at this again. So yeah, it does appear that they're probably going to wait for us to make the first move, but I'm not going to do that. We don't have any kind of ammunition constraints. Um, the one directly in front of us is this guy, so we'll probably just start focusing on fire on him. If we can wear one down, then hey, so be it. Okay, four damage there. And as long as they aren't in range, which I suspect they are not, based on this, they are one, two, three, four, five. We're five away from firing from them, and we're only two away from our front, which means that they should be three away from actually being able to hit us, which is perfect. We've done a very good job positioning our, our forces. Unbeknownst to me, I didn't really take that into account, but if it works out in our favor, so be it. All right, uh, next thing we're gonna do is uh, just continue to put our cavalry into a good position what is a good position? Well, we don't want to instigate anything, but I think we'll probably move here and then, oh, you know what? I don't know why they stopped there. Did, is some new information revealed or something? I don't know, but we will just, you know what? We'll just turn them here. They're on this road. It's kind of nice. We'll just do this. So they're fine on the, on the right flank. And I guess in the same manner, we'll probably get these guys over to the road over this road right here. And that'll happen the next turn. So nobody else really needs to move. We're still all set. Yeah, this guy is the one who supports the medium guns, so end the turn. I wonder now, I've been adjusting the music volume like every episode. I can't really figure out if what's the optimal. Maybe we can't see some units and they're moving? No, I just guess they're, they're thinking about it. And there it is. Well, zero is not a big number, but... Maybe we'll get lucky this turn. Two. Hey, look at that. They're down to 156 out of 162. <laughs> We're making progress. Lots of progress. All right, let's get these guys onto the road. And onto the road. Now, they are in line with this one, which is in line with this, which is... So we're one ahead on the right flank than we are on the left. And we will solve that. Symmetry. Symmetry, my dear Watson. It's not the actual expression, but that's okay. I'll get this guy to face that way. Good. So we're set. Probably I should have these guys uh, sideways rather than... <laughs> I mean, they're in a uh, column instead of in a line, but I, I think that's okay for now because we don't really know what we're doing yet. So we fired our guns. We don't even need to worry about firing. If we just end our turn, the residual shooting phase, he'll shoot. So, <clears throat> so very good. All right, Royalists, what are you going to do? Sit there and take it? forever. Aha, uh -huh, I see some movement. Some movement has been triggered. 
Heavy movement on the left flank. And on similarly on the right. Okay, so they were just moving. Hmm. I don't honestly know what's the best decision here. I'm starting to think that we should move our cavalry back, tuck in uh, just to support our flank. <clears throat> I don't think that we're going to be able to do much with our horsemen from here. So it's really hard for me to tell what exactly this cover does. I wish there was a way of toggling the information. But even our briefing said something about... The hedges are supposed to protect you somehow. <clears throat> Excuse me. I know that this provides cover for um, volleys, 33% or so. 34% was it? Hmm. Now, if they get themselves into this town area, that'll be a real penalty for them. So maybe we can just use that as cover? I, I don't know. I didn't think enough about this. Well... This is what we're going to do for now. We're going to turn this way. Because I'm probably going to fall back. <laughs> and for now, we're just in this weird position where we just turn and face so that I have the option to move back at my disposal. Because if we want, we can do like a loop around this way to kind of come back and cover our flank. But yeah, we still have the option to advance if we want to. So, let's get our usual volley in. I think it's this one. Yeah. Six more kills. How did I know that? Because I saw the number down here change the moment we fired. <laughs> so that's interesting. Before you actually see the report, you can see the damage. And end the turn. What will the response be? More movement, I, I imagine. There it is. Okay. It's just way too much. There's just no way we can survive that kind of strength. Okay, their musketeers are now moving forward as well. Hmm. Whoa, they shot at us. Oh, the dragoons moved, shot at our... Cavalry. Well, we didn't see the damage we took, but since this is the only action that's been taken against our men, we'll know in a second how much that actually was. Still zero damage there, unfortunate. We lost one man. Okay, well, we would win this fight. However, it's unlikely <laughs> that we would actually get a chance. Okay, so they will probably move four. One, two, three, four, five. They might get five. So if I was to move here and then shoot the dragoons, I could charge them next turn, and we would also we would definitely be charged ourselves on the turn after that. So if we don't break the dragoons immediately, which is not an exceedingly likely option, we would probably be attacked and flanked by the next turn. Hmm. Uh, one thing I wish this game had was an option to drag the mouse. I mean, to drag the map, but that's okay. We'll use WASD. It's just, it's a little more jerky, and I find that it's a little more nauseating to watch the footage of. In my opinion, I feel like dragging is a smoother operation um, when you're recording. Uh, that aside. <sighs> this is really tough. Do we commit our forces? I feel like committing our forces too early would be a bad thing. We can actually move back down. Okay, I'm gonna do it. Okay, that's fine. We're done there. Uh, let's get this guy to turn, because he might be needed to move out to support our flank. I need this guy to also be ready to support our flank. And I want, one tricky thing I want with the clubmen, I want them behind my musketeers. The reason I want that is because if they are engaged by the cavaliers, surely they will rout. 
We'll be lucky for every casualty they inflict, but they will rout. And if, or I should say when, the Cavaliers pursue them, I want them to pursue off the map. If they get into this chain assault thing, we're in worse shape. Excuse me, if they go to the chain charge, we're in worse shape than if they just leave us alone for a while. So let's go ahead and turn this way and get this guy to probably move here next turn. I don't know. That'll still allow him to move here with two spaces. And we're not going to do much against these musketeers. Although, maybe this is exactly what the clubman should be used for, is attacking these musketeers. Because we have this, the strength advantage, I mean the numbers advantage, 318 compared to uh, 172. Now they are better trained troops, so in, in some sense they should win. But maybe the number of... Because the percentage of casualties you have inflicted on your unit, I think, is one of the big determining factors on routing and being dispersed and all that, so... All right, well, we've done what we want to do, except for we'll probably start shooting at one of the guys coming closer. And do no damage, unfortunate, but that's okay. That's, that's really all we can get done, so. If they're smart, they're going to move up into the enclosure, the road obstacle. That's what I would do. In fact, why didn't I do that? Maybe I should have. Too late. I see some people moving up here, but we're not actually seeing what's going on. <laughs> there they are. Okay, uh, the cavalry's still moving. You can always look in the mini-map if you have to figure out what the AI is doing, if it's not showing it on the camera. I think we made the right decision to pull back. <clears throat> so maybe that's what they were talking about, is that this obstacle is what we should have gone to defend. Maybe that's what they were referring to. I don't, because I don't know the situation with these hedges, but I, I'm pretty sure these enclosures somehow give you a defensive advantage. And now we're really going to lay into them. This guy, that guy, that guy. Ooh, God, that's a lot of damage. Oh, we disrupted our first. Very good. Fabian. And I think the obvious option here is to charge these guys. I think we can get this charge in on their flank in time to not be flanked. So we will move forward here. I will turn if I can. I can't, but I can still do half volley fire. Now I'm going to move this guy a little bit further away. Well, how, how, what's the best way of doing this? Maybe it's to turn here and then face the oncoming forces. don't have any good options. Can at least turn this way. I think we'll do that. Okay, that's my that's what I've decided to do. So musketeers turn and face and give them what for. Now, I don't think these guys this might also be the best choice uh, for our clubmen, although they'll be very exposed at that point and susceptible to the cavalier charge in front of my musketeers, which is exactly what I don't want. So Okay, we'll do it this way. Of course, ah, beautiful. So they're disrupted before I fire with this guy. I suspect the return fire. Um, I expect return fire from the Dragoons after I fire here as a reaction, but they've had enough damage and the best thing is they're now disrupted. So their return fire won't mount for much. So just three kills. I think we're gonna have to turn off those tutorials. <laughs> so let's do the same thing here. We'll do a full arc of fire on a disrupted unit. Okay, and now I know that we will take return fire, but I don't think there's anything. Oh, they went to fragmented and they didn't return fire. That's actually quite good. Okay. Ah, just, of course, out of range. So we'll turn them back to face the oncoming, whatever, whatever it is oncoming. Since the cavalry is all on the sides, I suppose we should probably move to the flanks with our clubmen, which is what I started to do here. Can they turn? No. Okay, well, they'll get there eventually. Left a small little hole, but I think it's it's a 
not a big deal. So, oh, we are in good hands here. Oh, we just can't, we, oh, just barely can't get there, unfortunately. Yeah, so we, you definitely move a lot faster on the road. That's, uh, that's nice to see. So we'll probably move like this, turn, and he, our last unit here probably just has to make cause cohesion test. I don't like that. So we'll turn and face. We don't know what we'll have to do yet, but we'll just turn that direction for now. So Dragoons are next. Okay, so we're out of range here. I, I think this is not, this is half arc. Hopefully we can instigate the reaction fire against him. Nope, disrupted though, that's quite good. Okay, 18, wow. These, these musketeers are brutal. Oh my gosh, they broke. Well, even better. Okay, well. Maybe these, uh, these areas are giving us a good amount of protection. I'm not sure. Shot this true they're disrupted. You have already shot. Let's just start doing this. Next move. I think you're okay there still. No, that's right. We are gonna want you probably on the flank. Uh one-on-one, -on -one, we will just eliminate these musketeers very quickly. So let's turn him that way. He'll be marched off that way on the next turn. If I had thought about this more, I probably would have done that to begin with. No, I couldn't have known where oh my god, that's so many pikemen. We're gonna have to move forward with our musketeers at some point. I hope that these guys are considered light. No, probably not. So these guys are light foot, but our musketeers are actually medium foot, which means I don't think that they will evade an enemy who charges them. Which means that this is an extremely dangerous situation up there. Okay, well, uh, is there anybody else who hasn't moved who can actually do anything? We're not gonna break our line yet. Feels like it's a little bit too early for that. Um, oh, can't move, but that's still fine. It's, it's a nice safe area for him to go. We might even tuck this musketeer back here. I don't know if we'll have time to do such a thing, but... Anybody else? Yeah, you're fine. Ah, good. Break? No, but close to breaking. And we're done. Okay, good. Zero, yeah, because they, they're uh, fragmented, I think. Oh, they dispersed immediately. That's great. Here they come. Weird that they didn't fire. Why wouldn't they fire? There's that checkered pattern the AI is so fond of. But we have time. Yeah, they're turning. So many of them, though. <laughs> Let's just lure them back to our musketeers and hope that we can hold, and then maybe do some flanking stuff. didn't see some of the movements there. We have some units retreating. They're moving at our... Ah, show me how much damage. Seven, but 16. They're fragmented. Looks like a single charge now should be enough. What's going on? I don't know. Residual shooting. Okay, now we can return fire. Very nice. Excellent. Uh-huh. Very good. Disrupted. Disrupted. Now they are firing at us. Okay, I don't know why they didn't fire first because I think it's much better if you don't if you don't have the residual. So if we charge this guy right now, he'll break. The unfortunate thing is we will follow that through into. We may follow it into the musketeers because of the angle here. I mean, surely this. Oh, we're not actually close enough. Well, let's just turn and shoot him then. And they're fragmented. Probably even, it's a little risky. We can't get here.
I'm gonna come back about that one. Is there any obvious things we need to do? Yes, I think it's obvious that we need to shoot these guys. Where's our main gun gonna shoot? This is kind of an interesting decision. If we can get this guy to break, it might cause this guy to lose a little bit of his stability. So we might focus here. That's half fire. That guy's out of range though, so. Okay. He has already been hit by a cannon, so it should these things should be hurting him more. And last. Hmm. No cigar. Okay. I think we'll just move this guy here. Okay, good. He absorbed the fire. I'm still okay with that. Breaks. Very good. Now everyone else can focus fire on the other musketeers who are coming in. I don't know if you'll be in range. Yep. This burst? I was hoping. <laughs> we can actually turn. I think I will. And now that does change situation here so this guy can just retreat back in a peaceful way I think we might just retreat here though then turn if we can we can't seems like we should be able to turn we have four action points remaining but that's okay he moved this guy needs to move here face here he can't wow fair enough Uh, if we move here, we should be safe. I'm hoping. Wow. I didn't... It said zero to two, but we got three. <laughs> I mean, I'll, I'm not going to complain. Let's get this uh, cavalry just to... Yeah, this is actually smart. Smart, smart. Just rotate them right past these units. <laughs> then we can get into the... The soft innards of the... Uh, the royalist forces. Okay, who hasn't moved? You won't move. You will. You turn the fire. I think. So yeah, fallback does have a cohesion test something or other involved with it. It might be okay to step forward here because There's nothing else coming at us. So it's always good that you get the most amount of bang for your buck. So what we'll do is do this, turn and shoot. And that's still protected by the hedges, I, I, I would imagine. And it doesn't look like it'll be that hard for them to turn back. In fact, can we get them to turn? No, can't, but that's okay. I'm still, I still support that. That was a good decision. This gun is already fired. Anybody else? Oh yeah, we have a few of these guys. Did I just block my own? Damn it, I might have. Ah, I did. <laughs> well, we can move forward, I guess. Is that what we want to do? Maybe. It's getting a little crazy here, considering. Let's turn so that we're... Okay, I want to turn as much as I can so I can retreat back before the cavalry gets us. And you can fire half arc of fire. So let's have you turn this way. Full arc. Very good. Yeah, we need this guy to get out. I, I kind of regret that decision. That might be a little bit too bold. We only need to step forward one. We could have... I don't know. I really don't know. Anybody else? Nope. And turn. You can see how little they're doing. I'm supposing that that's because of the hedges. We have no way of knowing, but that's my hope. Oh, that was brutal. Oh my gosh. Oh gosh. Retreating. They're disrupted. This is this is just incredible, the amount of troops that we have to route to win this. What would you say that the odds are? This is like 3 to 1. I'm going to open up the uh, casualties report. Okay, they are surrounding us. That's not good. The 
The right side is doing much better. They have more horses up there? Like, this is unreasonable. <laughs> Good. 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 Very good. Some movement I can't see. Residual shooting. This will probably go all their way. Oh, started off with us. Ah, no, it wasn't so bad. Actually, okay, there it was. Big 10. Now it's our turn. Well, we have a situation here, don't we? I can fall back, but I still think we'll be attacked next turn if I do that. Oh. I can fall back too. Your unit can fall back here, maintaining its current facing. Right click on the fallback option if you want to do so. Note, however, that if there are non enemy non light troops within charge distance of your unit, it will have to test for a possible cohesion drop. Well, there are definitely non light troops in charge range. <laughs> so this may cause a cohesion drop, but. That's better than dying, which is the, the fate we face if we don't do something. And there was no penalty. I still think we can be charged next turn, but you know we may just have to keep retreating all the way by ourselves time. Okay, so where do we want this unit? If he's going to protect the flank, we'll want him right here. Okay, we need this guy to fall back. Like, how do we do this? What's the best way? We could turn and just shoot. Yeah, turn and shoot the one that's furthest away, but not yet. Let us get off a few volleys on this guy. Let's see, will he break if we just do one? No. Damn it, uh, well, we got the fragmented out of it, which is what I really wanted. But I was hoping that um, we could actually turn and face. We should have turned and face so we could get a higher volley out of it. More damage. Now we don't want to move there. We're at a full arc of fire. If we wait one more turn, which is not unreasonable, we can probably get this guy to break. 27. Oof. Keep turning. And this guy will fire. We could turn and face that direction even. Which seems a little bit weird, but it might give us an opportunity to run by these guys. Just to take them off on a wild goose chase. They don't have any guns, so it's not like we have to worry about that. Who's more likely to break? Okay, he's facing away, so he's not as big of a concern. Uh, okay, let's look down here. 138... 102. Wow, so this guy's definitely much more likely to break. We will fire at him. Return fire. He didn't do anything. We're in good cover and all that. Yeah. Okay. That was not so bad. Could have been worse. All right. Here, we're going to mount uh, a big attack on this unit. It's down to fragmented. That was very good. Well, this guy's... Okay, so we're full arc of fire, close range. Okay, we want somebody who's not full... He's not um, close range to fire to lead, the, lead off the charge. He's fragmented. He's going to break. <laughs> I have a feeling. 21. Auto breaks. Very good. And this guy broke on... Oh, that's fantastic. Good, because I wanted all these guys to be able to focus fire on the units which are getting quite close to them. Um... Nobody else is in range for this guy, so he's just going to shoot at the routing unit. We have nothing else to do. Now, these guys all have... Uh, yeah, we have plenty of for these guys to get done. I don't know. I think this is the correct facing to get full. Nope, that's half. It's impossible to tell. Okay. So that unit has fired. We should have attacked him first then if that was going to happen. Hmm. 
Hmm. Probably got to focus, I think, on the unit, which is here. Well, let's see how this guy does. Oh, wait, he already shot. We could charge, too. Nah, we're at as good of a attack rating. You know, this is over 2 to 1. This is less than 2 to 1. So, just shoot him. If we shoot him, we can get more people to shoot him as well. If only one, if one person charges, that's the only charge you can do. Okay, we'll get this guy still moving in this direction. Now, this might be a good charge to do. Yeah, we'll probably get around, do this. We want to turn and start turning in probably this direction. Uh, this guy's just going to have to make a small retreat, unfortunately. But if he does this, he faces this direction, he can shoot this guy. Very good. This guy's at half arc of fire. If he fires, he's certainly going to be attacked by that guy. So we might as well shoot him first. Wow, 22 down to fragmented. Okay. Well, I'm not going to worry about trying to get this guy to break. He will break if we can get this guy. So that was perfect. And now we will charge. We were going to lose that. Interesting that we lose the impact, but we win the general fighting. That's how bad these clubmen are. <laughs> I, I can see no better use for them, though, than to distract their musketeers. So, charge it is. Aha, they're evading. And unfortunately, our unit... That, that should mean that they're in combat, though. Well, our clubmen got way out in front. I don't think any of these units can actually attack them, so it's in a weird way, it was a good move. Okay, so... We kind of set up ourselves in this funny situation on the right. Who hasn't moved? Clubman here. Uh, I send, I'm, I'm sensing the possibility we're going to have a lot of problems to the left. So let's just get him to turn that way. And that's it. Okay, and turn. Oh well, yeah, we got close enough that our <laughs> clubman can actually be hit. This is, might be good enough to put pressure on the units we're routing, though. Disrupted. They decided to stay there, though. This is the real danger. Oh my gosh. If those guys get close, we're in real trouble. How are we going to defeat this many pikemen? I think if they just sent this number of pikemen against us, we'd lose. Okay, so that did not work out. We went right down to fragmented, not even from disrupted. Hmm. I don't think we're going to win this one. <laughs> and this guy's in real danger. <laughs> We need to get them to route, too. I mean, that's just the Royalist troops. How many individual troops have we already routed or broke? They just they don't count for much. Yeah, we're just not going to win that, that one at all. Uh, okay. Well, it's been 34 minutes. I don't have a gosh darn clue how this battle is going to go, but I have to say I'm not overwhelmingly optimistic. The best we can do is move this way. I think that'll be enough to keep us out of range of being attacked. And then hopefully our musketeers can start lighting into these guys sufficiently. Oh my gosh. Well, um, we'll keep the, let's keep this series, the episodes a little bit shorter. So 35 minutes is fine with me. We'll call this one to a break. I'll do my turn in the next video. So thanks for watching and stay tuned for more of this, this battle, which I already don't know the name of, <laughs> but the battle that we are greatly outnumbered in. Let's just take a look at the casualties so far. 
incredibly, we are only outnumbered about four to three. That is incredible. I don't know. I guess these are the units that which I've already routed. That's kind of interesting. Uh, one Dragoon and one Detached Musketeer. So we haven't done a whole lot. It's probably why we need this cavalry to just do their... Just absolutely do their worst. I think we'll probably charge these guys. So with these guys all kind of distracted, I will move these guys out. We need them to route entirely. In order to have um, a chance of winning the battle, I think we have to force all their units to rout. They can't just be fragmented. We're gonna lose a few of our own for sure. So I'll try to figure out how to do that off camera, but yeah, I'll catch you guys back soon. Thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned for more.